Okay, so those are the simpler formulas. Now let's move on to some of the harder ones that incorporate those earlier functions. Now who spent the most on lunch? We're gonna have to use a lookup and a max for this. Now if you are not familiar with lookups and because you haven't got there in class yet or you need a refresher, go ahead and watch our video on that, okay? So we're gonna go a little bit faster to this one just because we'll have a full video on how to do these. So we're gonna do our index. Again, our array is just our little table over here. Select it, comma, okay. Now remember, indexes are always match, match. So it looks like we're gonna be matching the max of the dollar spent. Comma, where are we going to find the total amount spent? Well, in this column. Now recall, matches must be from complete top to complete bottom, complete left to complete right. So what type of match do we want? We want an exact match. Close that match, comma, we'll do our second match. Okay, now we are looking for who spent the most on lunch. Okay, so where you're gonna find the word who is in the employee column. Now this is our column headings match. So employee, we're looking for the word employee. Where are we looking for the word employee? All the way left to all the way right, comma, and we want an exact match. Go ahead, close it, close it again. Andy Bernard spent the most on lunch. Now what did he buy, okay? So again, this is another index. Our array is the same exact thing. Now if you did proper locking in the last um, formula, you'd be able just to copy this down and not have to worry about it, but I did not, so we're just gonna redo it again. So again, another match. We're looking for the max, the max dollar spent. Where will you find the max dollar spent? Well, in the dollar spent column, all the way down to all the way um, up, comma, and we want an exact match. Close. Okay, so now we're looking for what did they buy? Well, what they bought is in the food choice column. So again, we'll do our column heading match. Okay, so now we're looking for what did they buy. Now what they bought is in the food choice column. So that's what we're gonna be looking for in our column heading match. So we're looking for food choice. Again, it's text, it goes in quotes. Where are we gonna find the word food choice? In our column heads. We want an exact amount match. Again, he bought a hot dog, a very expensive hot dog, but he bought a hot dog. So what was the least amount spent on lunch? This is just gonna be the same exact thing, but now we're using a min. We're gonna match the smallest amount spent. Where are we gonna find it? Dollars spent. We want an exact match. Okay, now we're gonna do our column heading smash. Now we're looking for who, so we're looking for the employee. Okay, where are we gonna find the word employee in our column headings? And we want an exact match again. Close, close. There we go, Dwight Schrute spent the least amount on lunch. Now what did he buy exactly? So another index. We're looking for the minimum amount. Where are we gonna find that? Dollars spent. And what do we want? We want an exact match, okay? Now we're doing column headings. Now we're looking for what he bought, so that's our food choice. Where are we gonna find the word food choice? Here. And we want an exact match again. Okay, so let's see what he bought. He bought it from the Shrewd Farm, so that makes sense why he got it for free. Okay, the last one here. Whoever spent the most on lunch is eligible for a prize, a gift card to the lunch spot of their choice. If they are the lucky winner of the prize, write yes in column D. If not, write no. Okay? So this is obviously an if based on those little if words and if not and all that. So we're going to write this in column D. So if the amount they spent, so their exact dollar amount, 
equals the most equals the max in this range, then what do they get? Yes. If not, no. Close it. Okay. So we already know whoever spent the most was Andy Bernard. So if it's not Andy Bernard, we did our formula wrong. So we can double click this one down. So there we have it. All these no's and we're going to look and see until we find our little yes. Yes. Andy Bernard, a $20 hot dog, is our prize winner. So those are those simple formulas. Again, if those harder ones did not make sense to you, we will have videos on those. So do not fret. As long as you understand these core little ones, which are our sums, our counts, our count us, our average, our sum ifs, our average ifs, our count ifs, our maxes, and our mins, then we're good, okay? If this did not make sense to you, I recommend booking another session with your tutor, and they can go over these with you. So this has been Bloomington Tutors, and I'm wishing you a good luck on your exams.